Americans. And so today we've got two fine members, two fine friends of mine, I'll let the governor go into more detail on this, that believe like we do. Ours is the party of Democrats, independents, and Republicans who believe in living within our means. Today is a homecoming uh, of sorts as we uh, uh, greet two new members to the Republican Party. We welcome them. We welcome their ideas. We welcome their passion to a team as we head into this 82nd legislative session. Uh, their arrival not only gives Republicans the largest House majority anyone can remember, uh, it also gives credence to our belief that people are increasingly drawn to our party's conservative values in a time when liberal excesses are threatening to drag uh, our country under. It is my opportunity uh, to introduce your fearless leader who gets to oversee that mega majority, Speaker <laughs> Joe Stroud. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor Perry and Governor Dewhurst, <laughs> General Abbott and Senators and Commissioners and Chairman Steve and Vice Chairman Melinda and colleagues in the House, lots of you, a whole lot of you. Uh, Governor Dewhurst, it, it occurred to me to, to ask you um, if you could only imagine what it would be like if you had 101 over on your side to help you get there. I have more gray hair than But it is a great day and I'm, I'm thrilled to be joining all of you today to welcome uh, two of our House colleagues who are now uh, proudly calling themselves Republicans. Alan, congratulations, and congratulations from all of us for joining us. Thank you. I've watched my district go from my predecessor, Mark Stiles, to today from a solid Democrat district to a heavily solid Republican district. I spend my time not preaching, I spend my time listening. And I know what my voters have told me, my, what my constituents have told me. And the governor, lieutenant governor, and the speaker have addressed that. This session is going to be a tough one. I look forward to working with all our colleagues. And I look here and I see men and women that uh, we've been on the same side. We've, been, we've done battle together. I love them all. We're all here to do a job. and. Uh, it's going to be a tough one, but we're going to get it done. I'm constantly asked the question when I was a Democrat, uh, you are a Republican, aren't you? And I said, well, no, I, I'm a Democrat. I finally got tired of people asking me the question. <laughs> <laughs> and I've succumbed, I've succumbed to what I know to be true. And that is, is that what I learned as a child, what I learned from my parents and my grandparents, are reflected in the values and the principles of the Republican Party. I'm looking forward to a great future. You know, somebody once told me that uh, if you don't have a seat at the table, you may be on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not on the menu, General. You're at the table. <laughs> I'm at the table. It's a bit like the scene of the Wizard of Oz when, when she finally wakes up and says, I know you. <laughs> And I know you too. 